So let's take a neutron, yeah. which has a half-life in minutes, like 15 minutes yeah, if right. memory yeah. serves. Yeah. And after that amount of time, half the neutrons will have decayed uh, into a proton, and uh, if let's say if it's a regular proton, and then an electron, an electron, and an antineutrino, and an antineutrino. Right, yeah. If you add up the masses of those, yeah. don't you recover the mass of the proton? As long as you've taken kinetic energy into account oh, yes, and all this too, because they, yes, they fly away, fly oh. away. But, but yes, but yes. So the energy budget is all there. Oh, it's all there. Okay. Look at that. Yeah. Well, okay. So everything is conserved. Yeah. yeah. All, all the time. And, and in fact. The way the neutrino was predicted was from looking at these particle decays and finding that the energy budget was not adding up. And so the idea was maybe there's an invisible particle that's carrying away some additional energy. Was this in Enrico Fermi? Yes. So so what I like about this that's is wild. he's like, look, folks, I can't explain this. Let's make some shit up. Yes. Okay. <laughs> but but geniuses make up shit that's right. 